Once upon a time, in the United States of America, many homes had pianos. Very often they were big, upright pianos. My house had one. And on this piano, very often, there was a big red book. And it contained a big variety of short pieces, pieces by Schumann and Grieg and Debussy and uh, Borodin and, you know, music from many, many lands. Music that was very tuneful, very delightful to listen to, very beguiling. Over the years, I've come back to these pieces again and again, and I realized how beautifully an orchestra could play in this repertoire, and what the sheer loveliness of sound and the possibilities of the turning of a phrase could be. And I wanted to kind of make them into a present to the audience, to our listeners, to the members of the orchestra, uh, and that's what we've done. Well, listening to these pieces was like receiving a gift of the most exquisite box of chocolates and and then you know when they're that good you you want to just take a small bite and then maybe maybe share it with someone and say look try this one it's just so fantastic and to go into the sound world of each of these pieces which all were really quite different but they're all intensely personal and really heartfelt but there was a very special art to playing these pieces although they were brief and length, they very often had a very profound message. Then there are pieces like the Litolf Scherzo, our great friend, great artist, uh, Yuja Wang, has joined us in playing this piece. It is utterly brilliant. It has a sort of glittery excitement of hearing, I don't know, a, a, uh, a glass full of ice with the world's most wonderful cocktail in it, or maybe fizz of champagne. It has something of those qualities. Blue Mean is a very early piece of Gustav Mahler's, which not that many people know. Uh, it is absolutely a solemn piece. It has an irresistible haunting melody played by solo trumpet. It has a, a kind of achy, quality to it. Every time I step back and listen to this orchestra, I am just struck again with the incredible beauty of the playing of all of my colleagues, the virtuosity, but the sensitivity 
There are many solos on this album. One of the most famous ones is the solo that begins the Foray Pavan, a long flute solo. Floats over a delicate pizzicato accompaniment and just seems like witnesses to a slightly melancholy, wistful mood, but one that also stirs your heart. I made compilation CDs of music that I loved for my kids when they were little that I would always play for them, and this is, this is a compilation CD for everybody. Some of these pieces are only five minutes long, but their subject of time seems much bigger in that they leave a kind of haunting impression. One of those is Vals Trist by Sibelius, another one of those pieces that explores the psychological territory of the waltz. And then right at the end, we have spectacular virtuoso display piece, the uh, entry of Bacchus from Delib's Sylvia. It's a romp, it's a symphonic swagger. Yeah. 